Hi, it's me. And this is my first soft female voice ASMR video. Now, if you're one of my valued subscribers, and I do value you so much, you're probably wondering, what is she doing? And the answer is, I don't know. All I know is, I've always gotten a lot of compliments about the sound of my voice for being relaxing. And I thought, well, if I can do a soft female voice ASMR video and bring some peace and calm into people's lives during this very trying time, just by going blah, 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 I'm happy to do it. I'm sitting in front of a cozy fire. It's not real. Thank God, because it's 80 degrees outside. It's very warm sitting in front of a fire psychologically, which is why I think I'm sweating a little bit. I apologize. I hope the sound of my relaxing female voice will help you forgive me for anything I do like this. Okay, let's play a game. Some of the suggestions I've been getting are to read a book or read a book or maybe read a book, but I really like to play games. So I thought if I do this, I want to do something that is really enjoyable for me. I feel like if we can do things that are enjoyable for ourselves and share them with others, then we just bring more joy into the world. Isn't that relaxing? So let's play a game of war. I'm shuffling the cards. Want to see something I can do? Watch, I'll show you. Want to see it again? I can do it again. I'm very proud of myself that I can do that. Can I do it in this hand? No. All right. Now I'm going to deal the cards. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry, I saw both of those, but I already forgot what they were. They were a seven and an eight, but by the time we get to them, Nobody's going to remember. Have you ever played war before? It's too bad we don't play real war like this because it would be so much less violent. It would last as long, no doubt, but definitely less bloodshed. All right, so we're each getting an equal number of cards, and then we shall begin. I could play with my fiancé. He's in the other room, but... Oh, during this pandemic, we have spent so much time together, and I don't know if people are meant to spend that much time together, you know, to make things work. I mean, aren't relationships dependent upon somebody leaving the house at some point? I really think they are. That's like Aaron Rodgers and Danica Patrick. I just read that they split after buying this $22 million house in Malibu. And why? Probably because they were both home all the time and they're not used to doing that. He's usually playing football, she's driving fast cars, but no, now they're both home in a $22 million house and it turns out they can't stand each other. I mean, I don't know if that's exactly true, but you get the point. You guys, if you're in a relationship during this pandemic and home with someone all the time, especially those of you with kids, you are doing an awesome job because it's a difficult thing to be home all the time with people you love. And if you're home alone, you are also doing an awesome job because it's difficult to be alone in a difficult time. These are just difficult times, which is why if we can do things like this to be together and relax, then, well, good for us. All right, you have an ace because you're a winner and I have a four, so you win. All right, now you have a jack and I have a 10 and you win again. I'll turn those over. And now you have a nine and I have a seven. You win that hand. And you have an ace, and I have an ace. Oh, we're gonna play war. This is so fun. All right, do you know how this works? Three cards down, two, three, and then we look at the last card, and you have a, do you want me to go first? I'll go first. I have a four. That's looking good for you. And you have a, oh, a three. I get all these cards. That's pretty good, what I get. I got the two aces, four, five, two, nothing much there. 
Hmm. Okay, here we go. Let's keep going. Are you relaxing? Are you asleep yet? You have a three and I have a six. That's mine. You have a jack and I have a nine. This is a, it's a riveting game, isn't it? It's interesting how much people enjoy this game. I don't know. Do they enjoy it? It's like Monopoly. Oh, we should play Monopoly next. That's another good game. You have a king and I have a five. You have a joker. Now, I forgot to take the jokers out, so we'll say those are wild. So that's yours too. An eight and a seven, that's you and an eight and a joker, which is wild. Here we go again, this game never ends. Have you ever played a game of war that actually ended? I don't think so. It's more like a game of chicken. You play war until someone says, that's enough, I've had enough, and then you win, because they call chicken. I think that's really the only way. I have a king and you have an eight, that's me. Oh, you get that joker again, that's you. A seven and a king. So I hope, oh, two eights, war, here we go. One two, three, and ready? You have a, a five and I have, wait, this is me. I have a five and you have a king. You win. You're a winner. You get all these cards going again, but you still have your deck. Oh, war again. Okay. One, two, three, and I have a I have a three, mm. and you have a seven. You win. I'm so proud of you. When's the last time somebody told you they were proud of you? A nine and a seven. When's the last time someone told me they were proud of me? I don't, I don't know, like, was I like a teenager? It seems like we don't really say that to adults, and maybe it's not an appropriate thing to say to adults because adults would be like, well, I'm an adult. You don't need to be proud of me. I don't know the answer to that. A four and a two, that's you. An ace and a two, those were my winning twos. I think sometimes our lives can start to feel very routine and like everything's set. It's just, it's set in stone. But then something like this happens, which uh, this hasn't, I haven't been through anything like this before, and you realize nothing is cemented in stone. And uh, it's two metaphors, cement and stone. The good news is that that means that if there's anything about your life that you don't like, then you can change it. I have a king and you have a seven. That's yours, a nine and a seven, and a king and a 10, an eight and a seven. And an eight and a three, that's me. And a king and a seven. And a king and a queen, I got that one. And a jack and a 10. It, oh, war. I have a five. You have a five and I have an ace. But that's a good thing because I was running out of cards, but also a bad thing because now the game is never gonna end. Two more fours, war. I have a six, you have a joker. Oh, you win all these cards. Wait, what cards are those? You wanna see how many cards you have? See how many, let's see how many cards I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have 18 cards and you have all the other cards. I'm trying to get better at doing math in my head. So 54 minus 18, 54. Well, I read that, I read the way to subtract faster as you add up. So 50, what's the number? 54 because of the two jokers minus 18. So that's 54, 18, add up six, and add up 36. Is that right? I don't know, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, that worked. Okay, so did you hear that? That's how you subtract faster. You, instead of subtracting down and you have to like cross out the number in the 10 and carry over, you add up. I learned that from an app that I did a trial on. It was called Elevate and I liked the games, but then, I don't know, after seven days, I just went back to my regular 
game. Actually, you can help me on this game. I'll show you what I'm playing. It's called Wordscapes. And it's sort of like a puzzle. And then you have to figure out the words. I'll show you the puzzle I'm stuck on. So I got all the words, but I haven't gotten the bonus word yet. So here are the letters that I have. L-A-R-E-T-T, -T, and I'm missing a word. I'll show you. Okay, if you know the answer to that, put it in the comments. If I figure it out before, then I'll move on, but I've been stuck on it for a day or two. Sometimes your brain just gets stuck on something and you can't see it and it's so obvious, you know? And then someone says, oh, that's what it is. And you're like, oh, I just couldn't see it. That's why, that's why whenever I get stuck on something, I'm just like, you know, put it away because I'm just not seeing things the way they need to be seen. It's something about kind of like perspective and I guess I would say before we go is that if there's anything that's like kind of getting you down or is causing you stress during this COVID thing, if you could just like put it down, really just put it down or put it in the comments and I'll respond. I'll give you like my best go at it. You know, I'll take a swing at the bat and, uh, and maybe I can help you see things like a different way. So I guess um, I'll call chicken on this game. Thanks for watching.